Okay, this next story is shocking as it is, well, it's just as shocking as it is sickening. The cremated body parts of fallen U.S. soldiers, Marines, and sailors, we have learned, have been treated like garbage. Their ashes routinely dumped in a landfill. It's all been exposed, and we're talking about more, about this more with Paul Rykoff. He's the founder and director of the group Iraq and Afghanistan Veterans of America. And, and Paul, you know, you've lost plenty of buddies in combat. How do you respond to the military's explanation that these ashes were treated like medical waste and disposed of accordingly? It's absolutely outrageous. It's disgusting. It's a national embarrassment. And the entire veterans community around the country and around the world is just floored by this. There's no way you can possibly explain this. I mean, when you're doing this kind of work, the margin of error is zero. Now, there are a lot of folks at Dover who take tremendous pride in their work, but whatever happened here is absolutely inexcusable. And we owe a full explanation, a full investigation to the families and to everyone in the military community that, that, that is impacted by this. So first it was Arlington Cemetery. And now this, I mean, I, I can't tell you how many people with whom I've, I've spoken uh, in high ranking military circles that are speechless uh, about this. I, I mean, how, how did it even get to this point? We, we've got to find out. I mean, the, the president should find out. Uh, Congress should find out. I mean, it started with Arlington. And, and once you erode that trust, there's really no rebuilding it. So you've got to think that there have been over 6,300 people killed in combat in Iraq and Afghanistan since 9-11. That's 6,300 families who should never, ever have to worry about something like this. You know, today is a Marine Corps birthday. Tomorrow is Veterans Day. So this is happening at a really inopportune time. And the one thing I would say is, is if people are frustrated, if they're outraged, definitely call for accountability, but also stand with the veterans community tomorrow you know we'll be organizing veterans around the country in chicago atlanta new york san francisco come out and join us try to channel that frustration put it behind the veterans because th this is definitely it hurts um, but we, we to know that people are behind us and support us and, and want to continue to push on that that's going to help us rebuild and move forward so paul the military says that the cremated uh, cremated remains are, are no longer dumped into the landfill instead they're they're now being buried at sea is that enough no, it, it's not enough. I mean, it, 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 they should be doing that. That's good to hear, but that's no explanation for what happened before. Um, so, you know, this can't be a blip on the news cycle. I mean, you've got to think about that mother who, who's trying to make sense of this right now, who's trying to understand how this could possibly happen. We have a solemn pact with our folks who serve overseas to take care of them, to take care of their families, to honor their service, and, and this doesn't do that. So they are owed a full explanation, and even from the president. I mean, he, he's got to explain this to those families, those individual families who should never have to deal with this. Well, it will definitely not be a blip on the radar uh, for us. Our Barbara Starr is going to stay on the story, the investigation at the Pentagon. I will, uh, too, as well. You know how I feel uh, about our vets, uh, especially our, our wounded and, and fallen uh, warriors. Absolutely. Paul Rykoff, thank you so much. Really appreciate thank it. Thank you, Kara, so much. We appreciate it. Thanks for keeping a spotlight on it. Always. And here's a statement uh, that we did uh, get from the Air Force. Uh, it issued this on the policy change. Quote, in December 2008, the director recommended to the Central Joint Mortuary Affairs Board that the services implement a retirement at sea option to affect uh, disposition as a more respectful and dignified process. Well, the retirement at sea process was adopted and appropriately respects the dignity of our fallen warriors. End quote. Coming up, the CNN True Squad.